Welcome to one of the newest additions on the campus of the University of Central Arkansas. In the fall of 2016, this will be Donaghy Hall. Three floors of residential housing and on the first floor, retail space, restaurants, a coffee shop, and more. Just one example of the growth and development happening here on the UCA campus, all without raising the cost of attendance. We've got a great story to tell, and we want to be sure that you know about all the exciting things happening here at UCA. Performing arts, academic initiatives, faculty achievements, and even educating the community. The 2014-2015 school year was full of hot topics to brag about. Education matters as enrollment numbers are released from colleges across Arkansas, and early numbers show the University of Central Arkansas is growing. <laughs> Hundreds of new freshmen moved into the residence halls on move-in day with the help of student orientation staff and UCA's total enrollment continued to increase. A student favorite. It's a massive structure that sits right in the middle of the UCA campus. The newly renovated and expanded workout facility known as the Hyper Center, a 115,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art equipment, basketball and racquetball courts, and a six-lane pool with a poolside climbing wall, all made possible because of a student-led initiative. We finally really listened to our students. We really listened to them and this was what they wanted. Students, faculty, and staff can also check out for free bicycles, canoes, kayaks, camping gear, and more in the Hyper's Campus Outdoor Pursuits and Activities, better known around here as the COPA. UCA's student athletes excelled in the classroom with the most successful academic year of all time while still bleeding purple and gray only in Arkansas in a very unique way will you find football being played on stripes from local news to the national front a UCA grad was featured on ABC's Good Morning America about her research as a registered dietitian our overall findings of the study were that pack lunches were of less nutritional quality than school lunches and another UCA grad went head-to-head -head with sharks on national TV. Hi Sharks, I'm Brittany Hodak. And I'm Kim Kelp. And we're entertainment superfans from New York, New York. Today, we're here seeking $725,000 for a 10% equity stake in our company, Zine Pack. Not only did Brittany Hodak walk away a winner. Yes. <laughs> this honors college grad credits UCA with much of her success today. UCA has been such an amazing part of my journey. Also this year, UCA received one of the largest gifts in its history, $3 million from Conway Corp, which will go toward the expansion of Lewis Science Center and an addition known as the Conway Corporation Center for Sciences. We are very strong in a lot of things at UCA, but obviously the science is the basis of so many of our successful programs, even if you look at something like health sciences. UCA not only continues to excel in the world of academics, but also in the world of entertainment. Reynolds Performance Hall offered up its best lineup yet to celebrate its 15th anniversary. And UCA's Arkansas Shakespeare Theater had another successful season, which included the very popular musical Fiddler on the Roof. Unless he's a man. This is also the first year for UCA's Greek Village. Beautiful housing, chapter room spaces, and brand new common use spaces, all to enhance the Greek life experience. So as you can see, we are excited about what's going on here at UCA and what's to come. Go Bears!